Jesus, I can feel my face getting boxed in for hating this already. It was a nightmare. So many dead people. So many victims. And that was just pre-production. Also narration. It all started a few days ago when I came here for a rave. People must really love acid if they're going to an island for a rave. Also, movie started the story and then went straight back to the opening credits. This is one of those rare movies where seeing Clint Howard's name in the opening credits is actually a relief. Movie's only tangible connection to its video game origins are to run highly distorted clips of said video game behind the opening credits. So, where are they, dude? We're gonna miss the boat. Greg and Simon. Oh, f not you again. You got the looks. And not much between those ears. Jesus, is this whole movie going to be still shots over expositional narration? This is either a rave or an invitation into a volcano cult. 50-50 chance, but like I said, these people really love acid. They missed the boat to the rave. This guy's narrating about missing a boat to a f***ing rave, but is doing it like he's Max Payne or something. F*** me, there are still people who need to be credited in this movie? Also, <laughs> two different people got story credit on this thing? With all its narration and opening credits, movie did not include an epilepsy warning, because Sega would totally sponsor an illegal island rave. Totally. Also, movie that knew ahead of time it could only afford 50 extras still tries to pull off the massive raid crowd shots. It's kind of cute, actually. Also, who holds a f***ing rave in the middle of the afternoon? This cell phone reception's been f***ed out here. Well, duh, you're on a f***ing island in 2003. You shouldn't have even had a call that lasted even one second. Oh man, they dragged poor Jurgen Prochnow into this, didn't they? You know what they call this island? Isla del Muerta? Damn it. Say hi to Jack Sparrow when you're there, assholes. F*** it, a grand! Oh, so for $600, it's the legendary Island of the Dead you won't go to, but for a measly 400 more you're willing to go? That means you value your lives at $400. Where was that? Captain Kirk? Character voices audience's incredulity. Don't even think of leaving my harbor! No one will be seated during the harrowing escape from the Coast Guard scene. If these cops had wanted to stop the boat, why didn't they at least walk down the correct dock? How did Sega and the other island rave sponsors never once hear about the island's cursed legend? If all the locals know about it. Oh my god. Oh, that's cold, baby. Who cares? She's naked. Discount Chris Evans crossed with Chris Pine. <laughs> Damn, dude, you were right next to the side of the boat. Also, face puking. Bubbles under the water directly after Creepy in the Woods stalker cam leave the viewer confused as to who and where the actual evil really is. There's clearly nothing in the water. But you know what would have been awesome? If there was anything in the water. Well, she's topless, so I have a boner, but... She's washing puke out of her shirt, so... Oh, no, that actually doesn't affect my boner. Did you get a real good peek there, Perf? Well, you are out in the open washing your clothes topless, so... Yes? Zombie needs to assess the situation before attacking a girl all by herself in the woods. Matt, are you... are you in there? Why would Matt be in there? <laughs> Door-based jump scare. Holy sh**, Matt is in the creepy house. Of all the places on the giant-ass rave island for him to go and for her to find him instantly, will wonders never cease? Yep. Just like the video game. Jesus, how far away is this island? And why did the rave sponsors make the official dock the furthest one away in the universe? You want me to radio for backup? Nah. I think I can handle Victor myself. There's pretty much no reason why you didn't just catch up to him and handle him already. Well, you're obviously no cartographer. Come on, it's this way. Who was the mastermind behind this party? They had to go to the island to scout the location first, then they had to come back and build the stages and shit. And the monsters just waited because they knew more people were coming, I guess? But it's completely deserted. This girl is concerned about the rave being empty, but she wouldn't be if she'd seen how few people were here to begin with. It's pretty easy for a crowd of 30 to scatter over a few hours' time. Me and Sin are gonna groove to some funky tunes all night long. You puked on her face an hour ago! How is this possible? Captain, is that you? Yes. Unnecessary suspense killing. No, not Clint Howard. You just killed the one name actor this movie had going for it. Unless you count that German dude from Das Boot, whose name I'm not even going to try to pronounce again. Or Smallville's Erica Durant's, but shit, that wasn't even her name back then. She changed it after being in this movie. I just gotta go and take a piss is all. The depiction of men, stupid and don't want to get laid, is probably the most unrealistic thing about this movie. Greg! 96% of the dialogue in this movie is someone calling out someone else's name. Okay, these candles simply have to have been lit by the ravers who are long gone, and have surely been burning way longer than they show before these horny asshole teens show up. Wow, you get a load of that. What the hell is it? Uh, Death House, OBS. Well, are you coming or am I going to myself? The smart one of the group wants to go into the obvious Death House. This is after seeing a bloody shirt and a general crime scene five minutes ago. Hey, let's be sure to show the entire walk all the way to the house, shall we? Whoa, I thought these were zombies or some shit, but turns out the evil killers are just dudes in obvious terrible Halloween masks. Go figure. Discount Ethan Hawke. These things came and they attacked the wraith, started killing everybody. Everyone except the guy with the camera, who dutifully continued to shoot while carnage happened all around him. They just kept coming and coming and killing. 
We finally found this house. We ran inside and tried to hide, and that's when you guys came. A house that we've seen two people get killed in, but the monsters allow these guys to stay in unharmed for some reason. I thought you were more of them. Them? Who the hell is them? Who? Try what? This is actually a case where someone isn't playing the pronoun game, and yet this guy asks what them means, even though he's seen a video of a bunch of creatures attacking the party. No camcorder from 2005 could record this much footage and still have a full battery. Simon says, let's get the hell out of here. Referring to yourself in the third person while also referencing a children's game? That's a sinning. We're not leaving without them. Bullshit, let's split up plot point pays off in allowing the movie to bloat its runtime by having the same assholes then need to find the very people they split up from. The boat being named Lazarus in a movie about the living dead is literally the most clever thing this film has to offer. Oh look, zombies can swim. More happens during this video game transition than actually happened in the last scene. Here, hold this self-defense weapon while I open a porta potty that possibly contains a zombie. Or Sin. Dude, did you not hear all the monsters go attack the tent or Cindy's screams right after you left? You were right next to them! Zombie Cindy waited until they were looking for her to come out and start killing people. Well, it's a damn good thing it only took 15 hours for this Coast Guard chick to finally show up somewhere meaningful on the island. What the hell was that thing? Our best friend. Not anymore. What the hell is or was that thing? He or she is or was our blank blank, not anymore cliche. This guy seems to be taking the recent zombification of his girlfriend and her subsequent brutal death rather well. I suppose he's still steaming about the poop shirt, though. Hey, shouldn't he stir clear that torch with all that methane on his clothes? Maybe I can get us some answers. By talking to a person on the radio who was not remotely here for that shit. Anyone? Have a cell phone. Yeah, we already tried. It's not working. There's some sort of interference. And also probably the lack of cell towers, especially around Death Islands, and especially since it's 2003. Zombies are still taking their recreational swim before attacking Kirk's boat. Wow, these zombies are easy to kill. How come the zombies don't ever attack while this movable feast is underway moving through the forest? <sighs> Emotions. Quiet, everybody. Cops in whatever the f part of America this is supposed to be have some lousy ass trigger discipline. Man, tribal makeup, white face with red stitches, normal ass looking teenage girls. This movie zombies can be anything. <laughs> Why were you using the handgun in the first place? Tetanus. After one attack on the bridge and the whole movie's worth of teasing, suddenly rave music and a zombie chase. Things! Zombies! Not excitement! I mean, in none of these shots is there ever a zombie and a human in the same frame. So why is everyone running? Fuck. Nope, that gun was out of bullets, remember? It doesn't magically reload when you holster the thing. No liberty! Wait, the Asian girl in the American flag spandex is named Liberty? Shoot it! What do you think I'm trying to do, you Moron. Well, you are taking forever trying to shoot this one zombie. Wait just a goddamn minute. Now, when did this random rave teenager girl become f***ing Jackie Chan with the kicking and such? I guess I might do the same thing after fighting a bunch of zombies, but what a dumbass, right? I've got to get back to the patrol yeah. boat. I can get on the radio and get us some help. Why not just get on Kirk's boat right now? Are you just going to leave us here? Are you looking stop. for the cavalry? No, you're coming with me. I don't know too many good law enforcement officers who would take a civilian with them on a dangerous trek through zombie territory, but that's just me. What the hell were those things? I don't know. Anyone who's seen a zombie movie might call them zombies. And zombie movies clearly exist in your world because the one guy was talking about Romero earlier. These are zombies pure and simple. Eh, don't tell me you were trying to figure out what those things were 20 seconds ago. Like, you had no idea and then suddenly come to the conclusion that zombies is the right answer with no problem. Like The Walking Dead? Roll crit. Oh, wait. No, you suck way too much for that. First, I reckon the story goes... Oh, great. A black and white flashback. This Zombies on an Island movie has a centuries-old origin story. This f***er just said he had no idea what those things were, then launches into a story explaining exactly what those things were. Some say he still does. Sorry I asked. So are we. When did this guy get a weapons harness? The Marine Patrol woman gave him a gun, and she didn't have anything else to give him, so where the hell did that come from? <laughs> f*** you. Much like the Nazgul in Fellowship of the Ring, this zombie smells something right under his nose, but decides, nah, there's no way this dude is directly beneath me. This guy's whole role is observing stuff behind trees. We gotta get back on that boat, but there's no way I'm going in that water. Yeah, but all the zombies in the water are dead, right? And even if they aren't, isn't that better than staying here? We don't know what's still on that boat. Give me a fucking break. The amount of stupid in this group rivals the characters in Saw 2 for sheer lack of brain power. All the zombies are dead in the boat area. If there's one that decided to hide for some dumb reason, then you have an axe, dude. What about that house? It's the exact same danger that you're worried about concerning the boat. By running back into the woods to find the house, but sure. Sounds like a f***ing amazing plan. Fortunately, this dickhead only smuggles cigars and highly convenient weapons. I'm saving the best for last. Look, a machete is great, but in this situation, it's not the best. We talked about making a run for it to that house that we found. That sounds like a good idea. Does the boat still not sound like a better idea? Especially now that you have a lot of weapons? When we don't report in, the Marine Patrol will come looking for us. Shouldn't they already be looking for you? It's been like a lot of hours since you were able to report. I'm serious about killing zombies now. 
I put my hair in a ponytail for this. I guess the greater population of zombies on this island were waiting for the movie's finale to show up in a large crowd, instead of the lesser handfuls of them that we've been seeing for this whole movie. Bunch of amateurs not only don't all shoot each other, but also become crack shots in time of zombie crisis. Meaningless series of 360 shots. Um, this girl goes from two handguns to a single shotgun in the next shot. These assholes in the background are clearly doing nothing. This guy right here just runs past a tasty human and lets her pull out a grenade. That grenade didn't even kill anything. Zombie conga line. First off, you're jumping right into the axe path of this slow motion shot. Second off, how does jumping improve your shooting skills? Third, the axe falls harmlessly as if she's Neo from the Matrix. Running out of ammo was a problem before. Almost 10 full minutes of bullshit. Obvious safe place to bury an axe in the stunt guy's chest is obvious. So many of these zombies have no clue why they're here. Some of them are even going in different directions. I feel like with the sheer number of zombies, they should have already been taken by now. Also, look at this chick. She's just standing here watching this, and apparently has a betting pool with the other zombies who aren't doing jack shit either. There was only a way someone could shoot these zombies. I'll shoot this zombie, but I'll be damned if I shoot zombies attacking my girlfriend. This door blockade crap actually works. Yeah man, light that one candle. That should help. Oh yeah, caring for zombie wounds just got a whole lot sexier. Just get away from me, okay? I don't need your help. Unreasonable anger. Who's gonna be able to look me in the eyes with a face like this? And I still think you're pretty damn sexy. Arbitrary romance. It's so quiet. Yeah, it's almost too quiet. This is one of the lines Airplane made fun of way back in 1980. It's so cliche, it's 23 years past already being made fun of in another movie. Rudy, what happened? Why does it matter what happened? Yeah, what he said. She's dead. I didn't save her. It's not your fault. How the f*** do you know? You just asked what happened three seconds ago. You don't know shit, lady. Damn, the power of boners really is stronger than, like, anything. Also, there's a f***ing dead body with no legs directly underneath you. It's Kirk. You need to take a look at him, he's getting worse. You mean you took time out from Frenching that one guy to check on Kirk? Horniness trumps all other things. I demand you resume making out right now. Guys, check out this book. No! It well, looks pretty old, maybe it'll help us. The Spanish prisoner who founded this zombie island most definitely took time to write a book on how to kill zombies on this island. I will actually award points if the book has a chapter that says, you should have gone to the boat, bitch. And according to the officer's logs, it says that Castillo Sermano killed the captain, then beached the ship and lit it on fire. Huh. I wonder how the officer continued making a log of everything that was happening after the captain was killed and the boat was set on fire. You gonna be okay? Here, on this island full of flesh-eating zombies? Rudy, take a look at this. Take a look at this, cliche. It's not human, though. So now you're a crack shot and a microbiologist? Jesus. It's completely unnatural. It's fucking genius. <laughs> what? Jeez, what a dumbass. I highly doubt that this dude was whistling that particular sound a minute ago. If you're a zombie and all you think about is death, where do you come up with a spirit to whistle like that? What are you doing? If there was ever a time for casual conversation, this is it. What were these assholes waiting for? See you on hell, boys. You couldn't just run to a safer place to light this dynamite? Now you're gonna blow the door, which is what you didn't want to do earlier when you were trying to get into this place. One f***ing stick of dynamite 20 feet away from the porch somehow blows out the windows and the front door. Coming out! Why would you do this? Well, this movie's already thrown the door blockade rulebook out the window, but a shovel ain't keeping the zombies out, guys. Simon, come on! Get it! Simon! Simon does nothing for no reason so that the zombies can grab him. How is Rudy leading this charge? The women went before him down the trap door. Did he just push them aside to get into the lead? If so, what a dick. Dive jumping to safety near an explosion cliche. Also, all the zombies that were outside a minute ago must have gotten warning about the house before it exploded. Dude, no one who has watched this movie this far still needs reminders about its video game origins. This is the only part remotely like the game, but it's silly how all of them keep coming from the front, and none of them wait until they pass by to jump out. Moss monsters. We'll follow you anywhere, guy we thought was dead and is acting weird and is probably evil now. Wait, did the zombie master set up this elaborate trap for them knowing for a fact that they would find the trap door in the house? Why didn't they just come through the tunnels and kill them while they were in the house? You created it all so you could be immortal. Why? Didn't you just say exactly why he did it in your question? Jeez, what happened here? These zombies are massive f***-ups. Meanwhile, this barn was just sitting out here near the zombie graveyard. Not one zombie could open the door or be let in by the main bad guy during the entire time they were in this house. Hey, let's end this zombie movie with a spinny sword fight. What do you think? That's so crazy, it just might work. No! Immortal guy is totally oblivious to Rudy running right towards him with an axe. Boob power. Emergency boob power deactivated. This AMS response helicopter took, oh, 80 hours to respond. She okay? She got stabbed in the sternum, and yet, actually, yeah, she is pretty much still fine. You got a last name? Curian. Oh, so that's why he thought the blood thing was f***ing genius. He's the main bad guy doctor from the video game. Uh, well, I don't know about you, but I survived a zombie invasion. I want to continue the work that was responsible for that invasion. And now we go home. Me and Alicia. Or whatever she is now. Whatever I've created. Oh, come on. You applied the zombie medicine to Alicia? How's that working out? 
Movie over anyway. I guess I'll just live my life after this without knowing what the hell just happened. Also, explain to me how he's narrating this by himself at the beginning of the movie, when he's with Alicia and immediately goes to the helicopter at the end of the movie. So, I can't bring myself to regret the decision to leave home. Trust the Gordon's fishermen. Here, have another beer. This will make you feel better. To alcohol, the cause of and solution to all of life's problems. Matt, I'm lost. Where are you? Matt? Matt? Matt, Matt, ain't no country I ever heard of. They speak English. Matt, Matt, say Matt again. I dare you. I double dare you, motherfucker. Say Matt one more goddamn time. Ah! Oh my God! Ah! Greg. Greg. Wow, you get a load of that. What the hell is it? It's laser fencing. There's high voltage on the perimeter. The whole building says go away. 